Carol from Hummingbird Spot here to talk about that red dye. Red in hummingbird feeders. Chances are that if you're watching this video, you already know that that's a bad idea. Uh, if you don't know about it, let me tell you a little bit about the red dye. First of all, the manufacturers who put red dye in their hummingbird nectar say that there are no studies that show that there's any harm to hummingbirds. And you know something, they stand on that because they're right, there isn't. And to do a study to show that it's bad for hummingbirds, you would have to take a whole bunch of hummingbirds and separate them into two groups. One group you're gonna feed nectar with red dye, the other group you're not. And then after a certain amount of time, they're going to be sacrificed, which is the research lab way of saying killed, and then their organs are going to be examined under a microscope. Well, guess what? No one's going to do that study. So as long as that study is not done, the manufacturers can say, it doesn't hurt them, it's okay, buy our product. They continue making it because it sells better. Follow the money. <laughs> It looks better on the shelf. The food dye actually increases the shelf life. Um, and that's why they do it. If you put the red dye on the shelf and the clear dye next to it, people go for the red because they just don't know any better. Now you can look this stuff up online. There are lots of pictures of hummingbirds that rehabbers have that have been fed red food dye and you can see that they excrete the red dye. Their poops are red. Uh, and the urine that comes out, the water that comes out is red. So they're excreting the red dye and you have no idea what that's doing to their kidneys. You have no idea what that's doing to their liver because again, nobody's gonna do those studies. Um, but why would you put them at risk? Let me do a little demonstration for you. Water. Mmm. Let's put some red food dye in it. Ooh, it's so pretty. Mmm. Doesn't that make it better? I'm not going to drink this, <laughs> but watch this. There's Fillmore. Ooh. Want some lovely water? Now see, birds are attracted to red. Even Fillmore is. Look at that beautiful red tail. He knows red is good. So I'm certainly not going to let him drink this. And I'm not going to let my hummingbirds drink it either. Here, let's get you some good water, okay? Want some water? Now red dye number 40 is the most commonly used dye in hummingbird food. Um, it's derived from petroleum, so you have to realize that that red color you see is dependent on those oil rigs bringing that stuff up out of the ground. Now, there haven't been studies done in hummingbirds, but there, was, there have been studies done in other animals. A notable study was done in rats. They fed pregnant rats red dye number 40 for two weeks. The offspring had behavioral problems. They spent much less time on the running wheel. Maternal weight and the weight of the offspring were reduced. The brain weight of the offspring was less. Um, and that was just two weeks. Now, red dye number 40 also contains uh, a contaminant they've found benzidine in it, which is a proven carcinogen. Now, we use this in our food, but we use it in minute amounts. The FDA does put a limit on how much that you should consume. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody pays attention to those limits. I mean, it's not like you get a bottle of food dye, pour it in your drink and drink that every day. But that is exactly what a hummingbird is consuming. When you think how much they have to drink 
I mean, they're consuming like twice their body weight a day and they're tiny. So the amount of red dye that you have in that food is getting concentrated in their bodies. Now you just see them come to your feeder. You don't know what's happening out there. You don't know how long they're living. You don't know the weight of their babies. You don't know if their babies have behavioral problems. This could all be happening around you. Fortunately, most hummingbirds derive their food from flowers, and most people who know about hummingbirds don't put the red dye in their food. But, you know, we've got to get everybody to stop doing this. Now, there's another red dye that some of the manufacturers are putting in called Carmine. Now, they say this is natural. Yeah, it is natural. It comes from boiling certain insects. Uh, and the food industry really fought the FDA because they didn't want to put that it's derived from insects on the food labels. Now, the European Union, um, their, I forget what their, the EFSA, the Europe, I forget what it's called. But anyway, they're equivalent of the FDA. Um, they make the manufacturers put it on the labels and they also restrict the amount that can be put in foods. And again, even this considered safe dye is concentrated in those tiny little birds. You don't know what it's doing to them. Now, what it has do, what it can do to humans is cause severe allergic reactions, including anaphylaxis. It can also increase um, episodes of people who have asthma. So these food dyes are unnecessary. Now, other people are experimenting with putting colors in themselves, like beet juice. Beets are full of iron and hummingbirds can't metabolize it. So even that is dangerous to them. There's the, there is absolutely no reason to color the food. Most feeders are red and the hummingbirds will be attracted to the feeders. If you don't think there's enough red on your property, then tie red ribbons, get red material, put red flags up, get red awnings, get red chairs, put, you know, red, get a red t-shirt and hang it out there. You can put lots of red there. You don't have to make the food red. Why would you do something that can harm those wonderful creatures? Now, the only thing that I have ever heard anyone say that makes even the tiniest bit of sense in my brain is there's one guy who colors his food because he is he has very bad eyesight and that is apparently the only way that he can tell that the food is going down in the feeder and when he needs to fill it. Well, there's also other things you can do. Get a wide mouth feeder like the feeders that I have and stick a ping pong ball in there that's gonna float at the top. I mean, there are other ways to do it. Please don't put red dye in your hummingbird feeders. You see how many birds I have? You see any red food in there? No. Please share this video with your friends. Share it with anyone that you see putting red dye in their feeders, please, if you have a way to share it with them. And don't forget to subscribe to the Hummingbird Spot channel for more videos about hummingbirds from me and my resident bird expert. This is Carolyn Fillmore.